Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Two cards are drawn one after another without replacement from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards and this is a standard deck of cards with four suits of diamonds hearts clubs and spades with 13 cards in each category what is the probability that both cards are of the same suit there are really two ways to solving this problem and i'm going to show you the longer way first and then i'm going to talk about an alternative way which might be a, a shorter and a quicker method that may be more preferred for timed tests but first i'll show you the more you know textbook or traditional classroom approach that has been taught for solving problems like these so basically we have four categories the the four suits of cards these are diamonds, hearts, clubs, and spades. And then in each category, we have 13 cards. Now we have to figure out first in how many ways can we pick two cards from these total of 52 cards so that they are of the same category or same suit. So let us represent the cards that are being drawn the so first card by this you know blue box that's uh, labeled one and then the second card that's being drawn uh, by another blue box that's labeled two so we're drawing the cards one after another and this draw is without replacement which means that after the first draw whatever card i'm drawing I'm not putting it back in the in the deck again, right? So the card drawn is kept separate uh, from the, the actual pack. So, so now next, let's consider what needs to be true if these two cards would be of the same category or same suit. So let's consider one particular suit. So, so let's start with diamond. So if, if I am to pick the two cards in such a way that both of them are of the diamond category or the diamond suit, then in how many ways can I, can I select the first card? Well, there are 13 cards in the diamond category, right? And I can select the first card in 13 ways and for each way of selecting this this card this first card i can pick the second card so remember that has to be also the diamond category but now since i've already drawn my first card from the diamond category i am left with only 12 cards in that same category right so the second card can be drawn in 12 ways if it has to be also the diamond category so for each way of drawing the first card i have basically 12 ways of drawing the second card so the first two cards if both of them belong to the diamond category then they can be drawn in 13 multiplied by 12 ways but it is worth remembering here that the cards to be of the same suit they need not be just be limited to both being diamonds right they can both be hearts they can both be clubs or both be spades as long as they are of the same category together we should be fine so we can basically apply the same logic to to find out in how many ways can we pick the two cards so that both of them belong to the hearts category 
which will be also 13 multiplied by 12 and the same for the clubs and the spades so the total number of ways in which we can draw two cards one after another without replacement from a pack of 52 cards so that both the cards are the same category is basically we add all of these together and that makes this 4 multiplied by 13 multiplied by 12. So this is the number of ways in which we can select the two cards so that they are the same suit. So what about the number of ways of selecting any two cards from the pack of 52 without any restriction? And for that, the first card can be picked in 52 ways and the second one can be picked in 51 ways because after the first card is drawn, there are 51 cards left in the deck, right? And any one of those 51 needs to be selected. So that's why you have 52 multiplied by 51. And this is without any restrictions. So when it comes to probability, this will be in the denominator, right? So this is my total uh, number of possibilities or the total uh, sample space, right? So the probability that the two cards are the same suit is just 4 multiplied by 13 multiplied by 12 divided by 52 multiplied by 51 and that comes to 4 by 17. So this is the more traditional way probably of doing this but there is a shorter and a much quicker way of, of solving this problem which you might find helpful in standardized tests from the timing standpoint. So I'm going to show you that next. So what's the shorter method? Well, the shorter method is based on the realization that for the two cards to be of the same suit, the first draw simply doesn't matter, right? It can be any one of those 52 cards, it just doesn't matter. But it's the second draw that's of primary importance because the second draw has to match the suit of the first. So after we have drawn one card out of that pack of 52 cards, there are a total of 51 cards remaining in the pack. But there are only 12 cards remaining of the same suit as the first draw, right? And the first draw could be any one of those four suits. It could be a diamond, it could be a heart, it could be, it could be, a, it could be a clubs or a spades. But while considering the second draw, there are 12 cards remaining of the same suit as whatever the, the category the first draw was, right? So, for the second draw to match the suit of the first, the probability is simply 12 divided by 51 because the second draw, without any restrictions, could be made in 51 ways. But out of those 51 ways, only 12 will basically match the suit of the first one, right? So, the probability that the cards would be of matching suits is simply 12 by 51, which is equal to 4 by 17. So this is a much simpler, quicker, probably under a minute method of solving the problem, which gets you the same answer as the first method.